watch you guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove MBR boot kits with G parted now there's a lot of these going around at the moment and uh, what they do is they create a small little tiny partition on your drive so every time you try to do fix boot and fix MBR it won't work and you're going to end up with the same issues okay so I'm going to show you how to use G party to remove that little partition and then use the fix boot and fix MBR commands in Windows afterwards and then run software so let's reboot into our G parted software and uh, I'll show you how to remove that okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to be using the uh, program called G parted and uh, we're going to use this to remove the small little partition that's been created by our uh, root kit or boot kit and uh, if you've been trying to boot into Windows and do fix MBR and you're still having issues and you can't boot up then this is the reason why and you're going to need to use this to actually remove it so what we're going to do here is select the G parted live default settings just push uh, OK here leave it on don't touch key key map and what you want to do is select your language now mine's uh, English so I'm going to be doing 33 and I want to select 0 here so type 0 and then push enter okay so what we're looking at here is our our partition and we can see that we've got system reserve and also uh, we've got our C drive here which is the largest drive normally and um, you can see something here called unknown this is what you're looking for it'll be a small little partition like that okay and that's what we need to delete to get back to normal so what we'll do here is we're going to right click on this and delete this partition okay that partition now is gone and then we need to come up to our Windows uh, drive here which will be uh, the largest drive normally you can see there's only 100 megabytes and this one's uh, 24 gigabytes so I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go manage flags here I'm going to put a tick back into boot that's important okay we've done that and that's pretty good we should be okay to go here so I'm going to apply this now, we need to come up to the apply tab apply this and then close ok so now that's complete what we're going to do is reboot our system into our Windows CD and we're going to do our command of fix MBR and then fix boot and once we've done that we'll be able to boot to Windows and run some scans on the system so we're just going to click on exit here and we're going to do reboot make sure you take the CD out going to put our Windows CD in now or USB drive with our Windows on going to let our Windows load up here Okay, so we're going to go next and then we're going to come down to repair our computer or repair your computer I should say then we're going to go next here and then from here we want to actually go to our command prompt I'm going to do C colon and then DIR just to make sure we're in the right directory and I can see the Windows directory here so that means we're in the right place and uh, what we're going to do is go boot rec space forward slash fix MBR just like that 
and then boot rec space forward slash fix boot just like that now we've done that we can exit out of this and our window should boot up remove our CD once we restart just let Windows start up ok and you can see we're back at the desktop now and what you want to do here is you want to make sure that you run some scans on the system and you want to be running tools like Malwarebytes uh, TDSS Killer so I do TDSS Killer first then Malwarebytes then you can do Hitman Pro is another good tool you can use also another good tool to use is uh, ASWMBR and just make sure that the system is now free and clear of that and you can run these tools like so a road killer is another good tool you can use and you've got an online scanning tool from ESET which is another tool that you should use as well after you run all these hopefully your system comes up clean and uh, you should be uh, home and dry then uh, if it's not and you're still having issues and uh, you can't do no more then you may need to reinstall Windows make backups of all your data and then reinstall Windows so I think that's going to be about it for this video so I hope it helps you out I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favoriting my videos and also and I'll be making more videos again in the future so have a great weekend guys and uh, I'll be seeing you again soon bye for now